Um, crackers and cheese. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. We well, can Come share talk it. to me once my boy's taken care of. Ah, then you ain't getting no food, you fuck. How come you can't share it? Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Wow, what a retard. Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Oh, now he's a fam family. All right, well, that'll do. That'll do. Um... Then, I guess... What was over... Ah, oh, it was just... The cursor. I thought there was something there. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Damn. How are you doing? Mark. Hey. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kaja can save him. Um, ever, oh, he's been in the Air Force. Ever miss it? You ever miss the Air Force base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Sure. Give axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, because you're a fucking Come on, idiot. Come Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Yeah, well, I got another another thing coming to you. Cause you gonna be going for a loo for you gonna be going without it food for a long out. time. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. He ain't gonna be getting any food as long as I'm in charge of it. We're gonna give the last one to her because I like her. Want something to eat? You can get... Oh, I still have crackers and cheese. Huh. Here. You get... Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Well, I guess... I guess I'll give it to you then, Kenny boy. Want something to eat? You can get the beef jerky. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved, thanks. The others noticed you fed Kenny. Wow. Bunch of stalkers. Save the last piece for someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. We're not going to have any food ourselves. Hopefully hopefully that's not enough to actually get us killed. Um, You really don't want any food? No, you don't. I guess I'm going to give it to uh, Mark then. Right in front of Larry. You dumb piece of shit. Here, eat something. Give crackers and cheese. Thanks, Lee. And that's all of them. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's you don't get any left. food. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. 
What a dumbass. I don't care. I don't care. Ken, Lee, come here, please. I need to show you my titties. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Aw. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go. Let him go, Kaja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Damn. What about the other kid? Cold. Whoa! What the fuck? Come on, come on! Holy shit! The axe! Hurry! No, 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 no! What am I supposed to do? There we go. Move, move! Shit, it's stuck! Ah, god damn it. Come on. Kick him. Oh, use the S to back away. How slow is this motherfucker? Q again. Shoot it! Oh, we. That was crazy. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Good. At least you would die. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Well, damn. You're lying. You're lying. It's true. I swear it. Maybe he's right. I didn't see any bites. It would explain why there's so many of them. Jesus Christ. If you just die, and that's all it takes. And shit. One fatal car wreck in a family of five turns into a family of walkers. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Hmm. Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Damn. So let's do trade. Lee, Please? why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Yeah, I'm it's going legit, with you. bitch. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Okay, we'll go to the dairy. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. All right. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Vegetables, ew. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Hmm. Me as a leader? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. 
because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? Hmm. It was an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um, Lily. Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine including the kids. Nine including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food and... Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. That doesn't no sound good. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, they and you guys were keeping it there's all to yourselves. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot you know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Well, they certainly moved on. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! I guess now we see if the theory of them turning, even if they're not bitten, Come on, is true. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Cause he should turn. Ah, they didn't show it. They did not show it. I don't like this farm thing, though. It's uh, here. It is St. John Family Dairy. Sounds very suspicious. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. I would assume so. Ever have any accidents? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Um... We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Damn. I remember things. Um. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. 
Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Yeah, this is just... It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around to be here true. again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Way good to Why don't I head back with the true. food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. All right. Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Hmm. Well, let's... We should do whatever we can to help out. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. That is what we do. That is what we do next. Next time. When did it save the last time? Because I have to replay a bit of it. Well, nonetheless, um, I think I'm going to have to be replaying a bit of the the, uh, the game off cam since this is where we shall end it. This is the St. John's Dairy Farm. And this has been... Let's play The Walking Dead. We moved on to episode 2 after the excellent episode 1. Hopefully things only get better. If you've enjoyed the video, you can always like like it. Uh, it only takes a second and it is the easiest way of actually supporting the channel. Other than that, I hope you have enjoyed these videos. I thank you for watching them and I shall see you guys next time.